Hello, my beautiful collective. This is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods. I am back, my beautiful collective, with a quick overview regarding the new moon in Taurus, which will occur May 19th, Friday. My beautiful collective how it will affect each individual zodiac sign will be timestamped down below in the description box. Please thumbs up the video on your way in and I thank you guys for being here. I've cleared our space of all negative energy. I've prayed over this reading and I'm not here to keep you long. So let's get this started. Regarding the new moon in Taurus, Prosperity lies ahead. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. If, you're, if you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Attune to the moon. Get or give a massage. Healthy body, healthy mind. Additional meaning. You will soon be able to afford the thing you're dreaming of. Getting, cl getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. Take some time out to pamper yourself. Start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. The teaching. We often feel that it's somehow wrong to focus on our finances, but the truth is that money can make life far more comfortable from a physical point of view. Taurus knows this, and the new moon in Taurus is the time to work your magic to create the money you want so you can have the creature comforts you want. Remember that someone else is still wishing for what you already have, my beautiful collective. Prosperity lies ahead in the new moon in Taurus. How the new moon in Taurus of May 2023 will affect each zodiac sign again the time step will be down below in the description box. The beginning of this brand new lunar cycle will pave the way for something solid and fruitful. But the manifestation process isn't as easy as you would think. On that note, before we discuss how the new moon in Taurus of May 2023 will affect each zodiac sign, it's important to note the different layers and astrological aspect surrounding this lunation. You'll also want to check where the fixed earth sign lives in your birth chart, as there will be more emphasis and energy activated in this area of your life. Sustainable and vivacious, there isn't anything more abundant than Taurus blooming essence. This is especially true when considering your seeds of intention, as its stabilizing expression is a manifestation of everything from our earthly pleasure to our inapt self-reliance. Governed by sensual and romantic Venus, it's also no wonder this season takes place in the peak of spring. This is when we, this, excuse me, my beautiful collective. 
This is when we're presented with the opportunity to reconnect with our biological rhythm and nourish your physical vessel. To kick off the beginning of the lunar cycle, the moon will renew itself via 28 degrees of Taurus on May 19th at 11.53 a.m. Eastern Time. It's important to note that there will be a total of six planets, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, and the North Node in Taurus at this time. This continues to bring awareness to themes such as our values, sustainability, and sense of security. A new plan is unfolding. But the next steps we take will be inspired by our sense of self-worth. What is genuinely worthy of your investment? What lucky Jupiter? With lucky Jupiter sitting at zero degrees of Taurus, we will see the benefits as long as we stand firm with what brings us peace and stability. Keep in mind Jupiter's ingress into this fixed earth sign means it will simultaneously go head to head with Pluto retrograde in Aquarius. And though the influence of the greater benefits, it is ever present in the next 12 months, we're being pushed into a completely different territory thanks to the Lord of the underworld. In other words, the transformation at play is essential to our soul's growth and evolution. The key is to not lose sight of your worth and what you know you're capable of bringing to the table. Either way, we will likely come to terms with what is no longer worth fighting for. The new moon will also harmonize with Neptune, which will validate the energies you're ready to surrender to and move on from. Similarly, Mercury's connection to Taskmaster Saturn will bring awareness to what you're willing to commit to for the long term. Before concluding its journey through hypersensitive cancer, where the red planet can help but seek an outlet to express its flood of emotions, Mars will also harmonize with the new moon as well as boundless Neptune. This watery synergy can be equally as subliminal as it is cleansing but it's important to reflect on whether we're operating from a place of authenticity and stability or reminiscing on the past wounds we have yet to heal from. This lunation is ruled by Venus in Cancer, so we're also confronting the parts of ourselves that need more our love, excuse me, that need more of our love and attention. If your sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign falls under any of the following zodiac signs, the upcoming new moon will rock your world. And here's why. How the new moon will affect each zodiac sign. Aries, my beautiful Aries. Commit to a long-term plan. Explore new realms and financial opportunities and reflect on the ways you can work from home or capitalize on your talents, skills, and abilities. What are you ready to surrender and when in regards to your possessions? And sense of self-worth. What is no longer worthy of your time and energy? The new moon will touch down on your stability-seeking second house, and all while Jupiter faces off with Pluto retrograde in Aquarius. Your aspirations and ideals are all at the forefront of this lunation. 
but your ability to stand firm in your values brings you closer to your power, my beautiful Aries. Next up is my beautiful Tauruses. You're being blessed with a well-deserved cosmic reboot this lunar cycle. And for more reasons than one, for instance, in addition to the sun and moon joining forces in your sign, you have the greater benefit planet also transitioning your sign for the first time in 12 years. However, Jupiter will square Pluto retrograde and bring awareness to your sense of authority or lack thereof. So it's important to honor your personal values and desires at this time. The transformation occurring in your area of career and reputation could definitely shake things up in the long run. So make sure you make a commitment to yourself before you take more responsibilities, my dear Taurus. Next up is my beautiful Gemini. You feel right at home in your fantasies and dreams, Gemini. And though the moon will renew itself via your 12th house of closure, healing and unconscious patterns, it is inspired by Venus and Cancer via your stability-seeking second house of value systems. On that note, this is an opportunity for you to reflect on what you genuinely cherish and crave when in regards to your emotional world. Jupiter will face off with Pluto retrograde, which could in turn highlight the transformation of your beliefs and philosophies, despite whether you've addressed this newfound awareness, my beautiful Geminis. Next up is my beautiful Cancers. There is a greater emphasis on the support of your community. And many of you are being recognized for your social co contributions. Luna will renew itself in Taurus via your idealistic 11th house of aspirations, society and individual freedom. And all while Venus transits your sign. If you've been feeling discouraged and or uninspired, this lunation will be a pick-me-up you never knew you needed. You are not only acknowledging the value of your work, but also finding the nourishment and stability you've been craving. Naturally, the changes steaming from Jupiter square to Pluto's retrograde could be intimidating at first. But this is why it is essential that you stand firm in your power, my beautiful Cancers. Next up is my beautiful strong Leos. There's more than enough room at the top, but your cosmic royalty, my beautiful Leos, the moon will renew itself via the stability-seeking sign of Taurus, bringing fertility and fruitful beginnings to your 10th house of authority, reputation, and legacy in the world. Keep in mind, this lunation is brought to you by Venus in Cancer via your 12th house of closure, dreams, and unconscious patterns. One moment, my beautiful Leos. Thank you. Suggesting the possibility of you taking some well-deserved personal days, if not surrendering a title you represent once upon a time. The catch, however, could stem from Jupiter's opposition to Pluto retrograde in your relationship sector. Don't lose sight of your personal value systems, my beautiful Leos, and don't let anyone take your power away. My beautiful Virgos, the new moon will be renewing itself via the security-seeking sign of Taurus, which in turn brings emphasis to your expansive ninth house of self-discovery, spiritual wisdom, and unknown territory. If you're feeling intuitively guided towards a different group of like-minded individuals, don't sleep on your desires. 
In fact, many of you are gaining awareness of new opportunities and perhaps even searching for a sense of familiarity in the process. Keep in mind Jupiter will simultaneously square Pluto retrograde, so it's important to get clear on your long-term goals and pursuits so you don't lose sight of your truth moving forward, my beautiful Virgos. Next up is my beautiful Libras. You're taking a closer look at the value of your investments and energetic exchanges. For instance, the moon will renew itself via the stability-seeking sign of Taurus and your eighth house of intimacy, shared resources, and other sources of income. Keep in mind, this lunation is inspired by your celestial ruler, Venus, which is currently dazzling your 10th house of authority via the sign of cancer. If this is related to home and family, you could come to find that you have a newfound value system, which in regards to your superiors and or parenting style, others of you may learn about an inheritance or family heirloom, my beautiful Libras. Next up is my beautiful Scorpios. You are being gifted with a much-needed reset, and in the realm of partnerships and one-on-one -on -one relationships, Luna will renew itself in Taurus via your committed seventh house of compromise and contractual agreements. Ruled by Venus and Cancer via your expansive ninth house of self-discovery, spiritual wisdom, and unknown territory. There is an opportunity for long-term growth, whether personal or professionally speaking. The catch? Lucky Jupiter will face off with Pluto retrograde, your modern ruler, via your fourth house of home, family, and innermost feelings. Do not let the transformation you're experiencing derail you from your commitments and relationship opportunities, my beautiful Scorpios. Next up is my beautiful Sagittarius. Whether it be in terms of health or your day-to-day -day routine, May's new moon is bringing forth the opportunity to invest in a fruitful and solid plan for the future. For instance, the new moon will renew itself via the stability-seeking sign of Taurus and via your sixth house of due diligence, health habits, and acts of service. Governed by Venus and Cancer via your intimate eighth house of shared resources, many of you will begin to take power back and reconnect with your sense of self-worth in the process. This is especially true for those of you who have been overextending yourself and or sacrificing your needs, my beautiful Sagittarius. You will be taking your power back. Next up is my beautiful Capricorns. Your solar plexus is glimmering. Garden. Capricorns. Your solar plexus is a glimmering garden, abundant with riches and creative talents. How are you cultivating these gifts, Capricorn? Luna governs your relationship sector, but it will renew itself in Taurus via your fifth house of authenticity, passion projects, self-expression, and your inner child, governed by Venus and Cancer. Again, highlighting your relationships. You could have the talk about expanding the family with a significant other, while others of you commit to a long-term business and or creative endeavor. Pluto retrograde could potentially shed light on the shadowy attributes, fears, transformation, surrounding your sense of security. So it's important to remain true to your muse and definition of fulfillment in the process, my beautiful Capricorns. Next up is my beautiful Aquarius. You take yourself no matter where you go. So make it count. 
The moon will renew itself in Taurus via your emotional driven fourth house of home, family matters, and innermost feelings, bringing fertility and new beginnings to themes surrounding your definition of stability and or your literal living space. Keep in mind, this lunation is governed by Venus and Cancer via your sixth house of health, due diligence and day-to-day -day routines, suggesting the possibility of you reestablishing the boundaries of your home environment. Pluto retrograde is also transiting. Excuse me, my beautiful Aquarius. Pluto retrograde is also transiting. Transist <laughs> Pluto retrograde is also transitioning your sign and at odds with Jupiter and Taurus. So be mindful of the way you're coming across to your loved ones. It's transitioning. Okay, I'm going to get it out, my beautiful Aquarius. Next up, last but not least, is my beautiful Pisces. Your mutable mind is a lot more valuable than you give yourself credit for. But that's all starting to change. In the meantime, the moon will renew itself via the security-seeking sign of Taurus. Via your third house of communication, mindset, immediate surroundings. Presenting you with an opportunity to pursue a new skill that could bring fruitful results. While others of you lean on your peers for support in brainstorming. Either way, this moon is governed by Venus in Cancer via your fifth house of passion projects and creative musings, suggesting the opportunity to collaborate with like minded individuals who genuinely see the worth of your talent, skills, and abilities, my beautiful Pisces. And to all my beautiful collective, God bless you guys, especially y'all, everyone who stayed to the end. This is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods. Please thumbs up the video on the way out if you didn't on the way in, and God bless you.